Champions League group stage predictions. Right, let's start with Group A. And in fourth place, I'm going to go with Copenhagen. They're clearly the weakest team in this group. And they unquestionably have the weakest team in this group. Compared to the standard of teams, they just don't look good enough, I'm afraid. Right, so in third, I'm going to go with Galatasaray. Galatasaray could spring a surprise. They've got players like Dries Mertens, Mauro Cardi, Wilfred Zaha. All very experienced and top quality players. But I just don't think they can pip Man United or Bayern Munich. So in second, I'm going to go with Manchester United. And I think Bayern Munich have slightly more quality than Man United. Man United have been very slippery lately, only beating Forest by one goal, only beating Wolves by one goal, and losses to Arsenal and Tottenham have not helped their cause. So I think they'll defi they're definitely better than both Galatasaray and Copenhagen, but they're not good enough to beat Bayern Munich. So that means I'm putting Bayern Munich in the top spot. And I think they'll get six wins again. They have an exceptional record in the Champions League group stage, producing absolutely quality performances and when they've got a lethal striker such as Harry Kane they're definitely getting many many points on the board. Kane will eat Copenhagen and Galatasaray for breakfast scoring at least four goals against these two opponents and I'm going to say this he's going to be the top scorer at the end of the group stage. On to group B now and in fourth place I'm going to put Sevilla. Sevilla have had a horrible start to La Liga they're currently bottom and they've obviously lost their star keeper as well as a bunch of other significant players who they they had on loan last season. Now I know they always drop down to the Europa League and finish third but I think this squad is just really weak and it's just they're losing to teams they shouldn't be losing to in La Liga and so I think they'll really struggle against these pretty solid opponents let's be real. So in third I'm gonna put RC Long. I think RC Long have made some good additions you know. They lost Openda and Fofana but they replaced them quite well with the likes of Wahi and Duf from Montpellier and Basel respectively. I think these additions are good quality Okay. Wahi should be one to watch. He'll score a couple of goals, I think, in the group stage. They haven't had the best start in the league on, but I think they can be pip Sevilla and get into the Europa League playoff round. So in second, and I'm going to go with PSV. Now, I really think PSV have made some really good additions. The likes of Pepe, bringing back Lozano. Those are some quality buys. They have lost Sangare and they have lost Xavi Simmons, who's gone back to PSG. But I like their prospects. I like the additions that they've made. They brought in Sergio Dest and Bella Kotchap on loan. They've also brought in Noah Lang from Club Bruges who was quality for them last season in the group stages. So in first I'm going to put Arsenal. And Arsenal are just a league over the rest of them. They haven't been in the Champions League for a while. Yes, that's true. But I just think their squad is a lot better. The likes of Saka, Martinelli, Erdegaard, Jesus, Ben White, Ramsdale. I mean, the list goes on and on. There are some really good players in that squad. And they'll probably comfortably win this group before the final match day. Right, so on to Group C now. And in fourth place, I've got Braga because I think it'll be a battle between them and Union Berlin but I think Union Berlin's squad is slightly better and they're doing really well in the Bundesliga at the moment so I rate them a little bit more than Braga so that means in third I've gone with Union Berlin Union Berlin have signed the likes of Aronson which is a bit strange because he was meant to be playing championship football this season instead of championship he's playing Champions League the thing is as well they've even brought in some Champions League quality players they've brought in Kevin Volland in from AS Monaco, as well as Robin Gosens from Inter Milan, who was playing in a UCL final last year. And they've managed to secure someone I never would have expected to end up at Union Berlin, Leonardo Bonucci. I mean, how long has he been at Juventus? I thought he was going to retire there, but you know, it's great to see him at Union Berlin. He's a quality addition for their squad. And I think they'll pit Braga third and stay in the Europa League, a competition which they are well familiar with. So in second, I'm going to put Napoli. And I know Napoli have kept Kvartskelia and Ozimen despite summer interest, but I just think Real Madrid, they are the they are the kings of the Champions League. They are going to win this group easily. But Napoli will give them a good test. And the signing of Lindstrom is one to watch out for. First, I'm going to go with Real Madrid. And Jude Bellingham has had a great start to the season. New addition in the midfield, along with Chuameni and Kamavinga, who's probably going to cover all over the pitch. My only fear is that in goal, they don't really have anyone now that Courtois injured. Yes, they've brought in Kepa, but he's Kepa. He's not exactly a quality top 
top class world, world class keeper so I'm not quite so sure on him but apart from that their squad looks magnificent they'll probably go on to at least the semis again I think this year on to group D and in last place I'm going to put RB Salzburg now this group is really interesting it had me thinking for a while but looking at RB Salzburg they've lost their two key strikers Benjamin Sheshko and Noah Okafor and I think those are key misses especially Okafor who was great in the group stage last year scoring against Chelsea I think they could spring a surprise or two but I don't see them finishing higher than third and I think they'll finish fourth I don't think they'll stay in Europe so in third I'm going to go with Real Sociedad now they have lost David Silva who has retired but they brought in Traore from Rennes on a free as well as weirdly Kieran Tierney on loan I feel that transfer slipped under the radar wasn't the guy linked with Man City in Newcastle surprising to see him go to Spain I think they can beat Inter and Benfica but I don't think they'll finish above them as I think Inter and Benfica have slightly more Champions League pedigree than Real Sociedad do have who haven't appeared in this competition in nearly a decade right so in second and I'm gonna go with a surprise here I'm gonna go with Inter I really think Inter have lost quite a few key players and although they have brought in quite a few players like Marcus Turam, Benjamin Pavard, Juan Cuadrado bringing back Alexis Sanchez they've also brought in Aslani from Empoli and Jan Sommer in from Bayern Munich but I can see Benfica doing something. I love their transfer business. Bringing back Di Maria. Oh, what a lot of experience to bring to the club. Bringing in Kirchhu from Feyenoord, who's been tearing up the Eredivisie for two years now. He's been quality. And Arthur Cabral from Fiorentina. That's actually a solid addition. He scored 17 goals in all competitions last season, including eight in the Conference League. And Fiorentina reached the final. They've lost Grimaldo, but they replaced him with David Jurasek from Slavia Prague. And I think that's a good replacement. Obviously, Grimaldo is a quality fullback, but they've made good replacements. They've brought in Trubin from Shakhtar Donetsk. He's young. He's played in the Champions League as well. And he's been capped by the Ukraine national team. So I think he's a really good buy. Into Group E in another really well-balanced group. And in fourth, I'm going to put Celtic. I just think they've lost Shota. They've lost Aaron Moy, who's retired now. And their additions are just a random scattergun of just buy anyone and any one I like Brendan Rodgers I think he's a good coach but this group is still pretty solid so I just don't I definitely don't see them making the top two and I can't see them getting third I think they're going to finish dead last I right, swing so third and I'm going to go with Lazio I think Lazio have, as I said in my Serie A prediction video they've lost some key players they've lost the likes of Malikovic Savic Immobile is no longer really firing at all cylinders he only scored 14 goals last season they've also lost the likes of Luca Romero and Francesco Acerbi who are pretty solid players. Maybe I'm wrong but I just don't see them escaping this group and I'm gonna put Feyenoord in second and this might be a surprise to you but even though they've lost Kirchhoff to Benfica I really like Santiago Jimenez. I think he's a quality striker. He really performed in the Eredivisie scoring 15 times and I think they've made some okay additions. Calvin Stengs I think from Nice is a good addition. They haven't lost too many key players and they reached the Europa League quarterfinals last season so I think they can escape out this group to be honest. The other two teams in this group are definitely beatable but in first and I'm gonna go with Atletico Madrid. I mean I had to didn't I? Atletico just under Simeone Yes, they've lost some players. Joao Felix has gone off to Barcelona on a loan. And they've lost Condogbia to Marseille and Carrasco to Saudi Arabia. But their squad is really good. I mean, they just beat Real Velicano 7-0. They're going to win this group easily with the likes of Depay, Griezmann, absolutely tearing the group. I think those two will score at least five or six goals between them. On to the group of death. And in last place, I'm going to put Dortmund. They've lost a lot of key players, most notably Jude Bellingham. But as well as that, they've also lost Guerrero to Bayern Munich. And Dahoud has gone to Brighton. They just don't have a great squad. And in this group of death, they will really struggle. So in third place, and I'm going to go with Newcastle United. I just think this squad is going to be stretched a little. And losing a skillful player such as St. Maximin. And replacing them with Harvey Barnes. Not quite the best. I think Livramento is a bit inexperienced. Isak and Wilson will do really well in this competition. But I think if they start to suffer injuries in the Premier League it will really affect them in the Champions League and they'll really struggle and I think they'll drop down to the Europa League so in second and I'm gonna go with AC Milan now I kind of wanted to put PSG down here but I just can't get past the fact that they have Mbappe I think Milan 
they have made some good signings. Chuk Wazy, I really like. Pulisic on his day is a really good player. And also as well as Musa, who was quality at the World Cup. I think they've made some really good additions out wide and in the midfield. And they have that Champions League pedigree, having reached the quarterfinals last year. So in first then I'm going to put PSG. I think Luis Enrique, he's got a challenge on his hands. But when you've got the best player in the world, you just can't put them, not put them in the top two. They have to go in first, I think. They have had a lot of turnover, but they've made some really good signings. I like Gonzalo Ramos. I like Lee Kangin. I think he's a solid addition. In midfield, they've also got Ugarte. He's a really solid young player. I think really talented as well. Yes, they've lost Messi and Neymar, but look at the players they brought in. Colo Moani, Dembele, Skriniar, Asensio. All very quality, top-notch. Have all played Champions League football. Lucas Hernandez is also a solid defensive pickup. And yes, maybe this squad won't gel together, but if it does, it's winning the group easily, I think. Even without it, gelling well together, together Mbappe is just too good I mean they will finish top two at least I think I'd be shocked if they finish outside the top two on to group G and this group's fairly easy to predict in last place I'm going to put young boys just because I think they've lost two key players in Fasnacht and Fabian Reader and I think losing those two could push them below Red Star Belgrade who I'm going to put in third they've made some more transfers and I like them I think they're solid enough transfers I think they'll finish third right so in second I'm going to put RB Leipzig I'm sorry Sorry, you lost 7-0 to Man City last year. There's no way you're finishing above Man City. You've made some okay additions. Xavi Simmons on loan and Benjamin Shishko from RB Salzburg. Good signings, but you're not finishing above Man City, who are definitely winning this group. I mean, Man City literally won it last year. They won the treble. They are arguably the best club side in world football. They are definitely winning this group easily, hands down. Probably 18 points. On to Group H, and I'm going to put Shakhtar Donetsk in last. They've lost Tete and Solomon on freeze. Those are big misses, I'm not going to lie. They've lost their keeper, Trubin. Yes, they've brought in a couple of young Brazilians, but I think they're going to not do very well in this group. So in third, I'm going to put Royal Antwerp. And obviously, this is their debut in the group stage of this competition. They haven't competed in any form of the Champions League for 66 years, but they brought in some good signings. Find Dow from Ajax on loan and Koulibaly on loan from Dortmund. Those are good additions. They have lost Pacho, who's a good centre-back, but I think they're better than Shatok Donetsk and I think they'll finish third. In second and I'm going to put Porto. Now Porto always make it out of the group. They always end up having to play Liverpool but obviously this year that won't happen because I can't see them finishing outside the top two. They have a good enough squad. They haven't made too many additions but they've got solid players such as Pepe and Taremi and I think they're good enough to qualify for the round of 16. Rest in first I'm going to put Barcelona. Now Barcelona have really struggled in this competition the last two seasons but they could not have had a more easy group than this one. They brought in Gundogan on a free, Joao Cancelo and Joao Felix on loan. They have a really good squad overall. Right, so that's my Champions League predictions. Like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and I'll see you later.